we've discussed how the downswing should descend the top curve of an eye, turning to the left, and with the club, if it hits the ground at all, doing so after the ball. We'd like this to be an automatic product of the way we prepared and swung back. Unfortunately, this automatic product is tainted by preconceived notions and certain natural presumptions that we all are subject to. We're led by a great deal of conventional wisdom to believe that it's appropriate to start the downswing by dropping the arms and then tucking the elbow into the side. And we're also taught that it's a good thing to swing into out. This is actually inappropriate. This is the undercurve of the eye, and we're naturally guaranteeing that the physical preference of a human body swinging a golf club is going to win the battle at great cost. So we have the natural preference sweeping around the undercurve of the eye. We have conventional wisdom de demonstrating that we should drop our arms and tuck them in and then swing into out, leaving us again around the undercurve of the eye. And then it's further compounded by our natural presumption that the task in golf is to drive the ball up a ramp with the club face. Driving the ball up a ramp with the club face also leads us around the undercurve of the eye and leaves us subject to the same breakdowns and the need for the same sort of corrections I've listed in previous segments. For the club to be delivered correctly and automatically, we first have to prepare properly and swing back correctly. Assuming we've done that, the downswing should be automatic and all I have to do is dispel some of these preconceived notions to make that possible. Think of you as the central column of a spiral staircase with all the steps radiating out from you going down into the basement by your left leg. The right way to permit the downswing to occur, and notice I say permit and not make, it should be automatic and allowed, is that the club should descend the handrail of that spiral staircase. Now conventional wisdom decries that as an out to in swing or over the top and usually suggests that that would lead to a slice. But if we have prepared correctly and done the backswing correctly, far from slicing, this descent of the circle, the top curve of the eye, or as I describe it, the descending spiral, will actually hit a golf ball that starts straight or to the left, climbs up and bends to the left. A draw is a badge of quality. We engage the potential for a divot after the ball, and we hit a much more powerful shot with much less vulnerability to the types of things I've listed earlier. Thank you.